Good morning, friends. Welcome. I'm here in Bardstown. There's a lot to do here in Bardstown. A lot of distilleries, some breweries, a lot of antiques, all the things that I like. But I'm on a mission. I feel like I need to get to Ohio, see some family, friends. So I'm gonna get some coffee. There's one place I'd like to see here in town before I leave. Oscar Getz Whiskey Museum. I'm not much of a whiskey drinker, or bourbon, or any other kind of liquor. I'm more of a beer guy, but I thought I'd go in here and see what this is all about. Okay, I'm the only person in here, the nice lady that opened up the museum just now. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, I just opened. She told me all kinds of history about this museum and this uh, still here in particular, she was telling me that George Washington was a distiller. And on his property at Mount Vernon, I believe, they're making this original recipe of moonshine that he made on his property using a still just like this. Pretty cool. Maybe we should make it to Mount Vernon. Sure. Old school, typical moonshine backwoods distillery. Whiskey is the only true American spirit and unique to Kentucky because of the limestone that's in the small waterways in the mountains. It makes for a perfect type of water for making the mash. Whiskey's unique and it uses a certain variety of cereal grains turned into sugars, a lot like brewing beer, ferments, and then there's more to the process. It makes a very strong drink. This was pretty cool. It was a stone from George Washington still. That's cool. this whole hallway here just full of information and Christmas get ready to decorate today This is an interesting story. <laughs> this lady, Carrie Nation, she was not a fan of the booze. And over the years took this hatchet, would go into bars and just destroy things while she sang hymns. Here's a bottle she attacked. not want to mess with her. This is cool. The first cash register was invented by a bartender, a saloon keeper, Dayton, Ohio. Cool. If I remember, I think a, my uncle or somebody worked at National Cash Register in Dayton at one point. 
I think so. Anyway, I remember it existing, National Cash Register, and that's the origin. The actual first cash register is in the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. What's it look like? Very interesting. Tom and Jerry. The phrase originally meant just some unruly children because of a book that was written in the 20s. Well, the guy who wrote the book made this eggnog setup called Tom and Jerry so he could promote his artistic work. And I just thought it was a cartoon. Old flasks. Flasks. So very lifelike looking. It's creepy. Some of you like these small little airplane glasses, I call them. There's some really cool ones here. A lot of these rooms are kind of similar, you know, similar things in them, just private collections from a few people over the years. And the museum has grown because of these smaller collections that have been included. But it's pretty cool just to see how it's all done, see what goes into it. A lot of people survive off of this industry and clearly enjoy it. So it's Good to learn some details about it. It's interesting. In case you're wondering, there's Oscar Odets and his beautiful bronze bride. Well, the Whiskey Museum is really cool. If you're in Bardstown, Kentucky, it's worth a drop off. It's free. You can donate to them if you wish. It's a beautiful town, really cool museum. Learned a lot. Didn't know much about whiskey or bourbon. I brewed a lot of beer, but didn't know much about that. It's very similar. Well, friends, thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna continue 
on this Fantasy Tour 2020. The next time you see me, I'll likely be in Ohio. Likely. Never know. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.